So this is a, a warm up thing that we do run by a lot of our guests, and that is uh, if if you could bring back a deceased scientist and sit with them and have a beer, uh, who would it be, and what would you talk about? I'd bring back Lorenzo Spallanzani. Um, who's he? I hear you cry. <laughs> who is he? That's one we have not had yet. Uh, he, he, I think he died in 1799. He was an Italian priest who um, uh, promoted the idea of pre-formation, uh, that, um, that all the generations of creatures were all wound up tightly in the eggs of, uh, of females, and that the purposes of sperm were purely to spark the reproductive process into action. Now, unlike many of his contemporaries, he was a very good experimental scientist. And he actually showed it worked by making tiny little trousers for frogs, <laughs> uh, for male frogs. <laughs> and he fitted the trousers to the male frogs uh, and, uh, and let them jump into ponds in the spring. And none of them had tadpoles, which proves his case. So... Uh, he, all the people who said that um, there was some kind of essence of life that somehow uh, got unwound all of a sudden, um, he said was such a lot was a lot of philosophical vaporing. You have to do proper experiments, <laughs> and he did. And according to the everything everyone knew at the time, I mean, there was no such thing as a cell theory at the time. He was absolutely right, and I bet he was a like all these kind of priest scientists. I bet he was a really good laugh. Uh, and uh, I, I, he's, uh, I wrote a book called Jacob's Ladder, um, gosh, about 20 years ago, all about this subject, and I came across Spallanzani, and I thought, what a guy. He, he'd be somebody I'd like to have a beer with. Hmm. What, what would you talk about now? I mean, what would you think? Uh, there's, there's a lot of time that's passed since he was uh, putting trousers on frogs. What would, what would you talk about now? Well, I don't know. I think we'd just talk and see what came up. We'd have a couple of beers and saw what, see what uh, see what happened, uh, see what the fancy took us. I mean, I'm sure he'd be most amused uh, to find out about DNA uh, and uh, that. Uh, but there is no such thing as a kind of vis essentialis, a sort of magical breath of life that floats above everything. Um, I think he'd be absolutely fascinated by what was going on, and he'd probably grasp it really quickly. I'd have to learn 18th century Italian, though. All that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No. A couple, couple of nights you'll have that if, knocked if out. If we had a kind of instant translator machine, that would be, that would be great.